it's showtime. For over a century now, films have brought people together, entertained, and inspired, and they will continue to do so for years to come. In a series of interviews conducted by Robert K. Elder for his 2011 book, The Film That Changed My Life, he asked 30 directors just that, what film changed your life? Edgar Wright gave John Landis' 1981 film An American Werewolf in London as his answer to that question. When asked how it changed his life, he responded, Horror films always have been something I've wanted to watch and wanted to make. Equally, I'm very fascinated by comedy. I suppose the reason that An American Werewolf in London changed my life is that it very early on in my film watching experiences, I saw a film that was so sophisticated in its tone and what it managed to achieve. The idea of having this mix of socially awkward comedy Have you ever talked to a corpse? It's boring! preceded by incredibly vivid Oscar-winning horror was just astonishing. Wright would go on to mention how the film informed his films, Shaun of the Dead <laughs> and Hot Fuzz. <laughs> Some notable highlights of the 29 other directors interviewed are Frank Oz, director of 1986's Little Shop of Horrors, inspired by Orson Welles' films Touch of Evil from 1958 and Citizen Kane from 1941. John Landis, director of 1978's Animal House, inspired by Nathan Duran's The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad from 1958. The late George A. Romero, creator of The Modern Zombie, inspired by Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburg's The Tales of Hoffman from 1951. I sat down today with Gwen Millar, a film student, to ask her the same question that Robert K. Elder asked those 30 directors. The movie that truly got me interested in filmmaking is probably The Thing. I was very undecided for a long time, and when I first watched that movie, I don't know, it kind of opened my eyes. Is there any specific thing about the thing that you want to incorporate or pursue specifically? Yeah. 100%. The Thing has incredible lighting, especially in the scenes where the characters are using flares in like the Arctic environment. It's very fascinating and it's kind of made me want to go into lighting and I would love to do specifically color lighting. Is there anything else specific about the movie that captured your attention and love for it? Definitely the special effects. <laughs> but for the time, I believe the movie came out in 1982, for its time, and even now, the special effects in that movie are unmatched 
to be honest. I've never seen, never seen yet another movie that has such incredible blood effects, special effects in general. The fact that most of it was practical is kind of crazy. What's your favorite moment? In the it's probably everyone's favorite moment, but the blood testing scene. The blood from one of you things won't obey when it's attacked. It'll try and survive. And just the fact that they had the idea to have the blood of the thing even be its own creature because it really signifies the fact that every little bit of the thing is its own creature. Yeah, fuck you too! All of this is to say, in much more complicated than necessary terms, that inspiration can strike at any time, whether it's for something small like a school project, or if it's for your future life path. Anything can be inspiration to anyone, and that inspiration can be hiding within the very movies that you watch.